Hey, welcome back to uh, my exciting channel. And um, today we have a very, very special video uh, for the three people that are going to watch this. Uh, I have these two filmmaker friends, the Beyer brothers. It's Nick and Zach Beyer. These guys are great. Here's the plan. Mr. Milson's house is right here. So is his front door, which means his doorbell is somewhere in this area. Exits are here, 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 and here. Same plan as last time. We go to the front door, we ring the doorbell, and then we get the hell out of there. <laughs> Beautiful. They have a YouTube channel uh, for a while now, and they just throw a bunch of short films on there, mostly for 48-hour film festivals and festivals where you only have a certain amount of time to, to make a short film, and they're pretty good. Uh, they asked me to be in one of their films, and I was very honored. And I learned a lot of important things about myself, like I shouldn't be an actor ever. So we needed a prop for one of the scenes, uh, like, a, like an old retro gaming system. And so I brought my Nintendo NES over, and Nick, who used it in the scene, was like, yeah, you could leave it here if you want. So usually that means, I mean, he would probably really like one, because I know I love my NESs because I have more than one, but I can't part with them. I can't be like, oh, here, here, take my extra one. Because what's going to happen is one of my NESs is going to break, and then I'm only going to have two backups as opposed to three. So um, what I did was I went on eBay, and to thank them for letting me be in their film, I bought <laughs> a broken one for, like, super cheap that probably doesn't work uh, in hopes of fixing it, cleaning it up, and then I'm gonna give that to them as a present from me to say thank you for giving me the chance to play actor. Oh look, it's right here. This eBay Nintendo setup. Okay, so this is for a different video. <laughs> this, is, this is a Super Nintendo that needs to be repaired. But that's a story for another time. I think this is the eBay uh, Nintendo. And, ah, here she is. Uh, sure. 12 volts, four amp. Was the NES nine volt? I mean, there's some, yeah, what is that? Ooh, we got two games with this one. Ooh, Pinbot. How cool is that? Of course, I have probably like two copies of Mario Bros. And Mario Bros. is as pronounced. Uh, and Duck Hunt. Um, so obviously I will clean up this game a little bit. Actually, they're very clean. And I'll give them the, the game that's got the most uh, cosmetic damage and keep the nice ones. Oh, how cool is this? Okay, so I know that the one brother really is gonna want this Nintendo gun. And well, I, now I remember why I bid on this one, because he has two Nintendo guns. And I have two, so now I have four, but I think, I don't have this orange one, so I might keep the orange one and give them the gray one, because I know I have a gray one. Say hello to my little friends. That's pretty bad. What is procedure? Do you open it up to make sure it's not, there's not like faulty wiring inside? And then, and clean it up and then test it? Or do you plug it in and test it? And then figure out what's wrong. Put in the, put a comment in the comments what the correct procedure is. Do you test it first when you get something off of eBay? and then open it up? Or do you open it up first without putting any power into it to like maybe even make it worse and then open it up and test it? I'm gonna go with the opposite of my gut instinct because I'm in a hurry. And that is to plug it in and see if it works. But I'm going to go grab my NES power supply that I have that works just to make sure, you know, it's not the power supply. Oh, there's a crack at the end. Damn it. Look at that. 
maybe I can uh, maybe I can glue that glue that corner back on and they won't they won't notice. So I actually uh, label these power supplies. I can't tell you how many times I pick one up and I just can't remember where it would go to. C nine volts, two amps, because I think the two amp covers. I think the original was like 1.3 or 1.4 amp Nintendo. So maybe it didn't work because they were trying to use 12 volts. Maybe I'll be lucky. You know what, I do, uh, there is one thing I will do. I don't like sticking in any game that I have not previously cleaned. Ooh, yeah, see? Hello. You don't know where this has been. <laughs> you know what? You don't want this inside your, well, actually, I don't know where this has been, so. But at least we'll start here, and then I'll, I'll clean those pins as well. I, I, it's probably dirty. Let me get a seat, because my back hurts, because I'm, I'm overweight and my spine can't handle it. So, the any, sorry about the mess, here, let me. My goal someday is to be one of those YouTube channels where like, it's like this beautiful, it was uh, feng shui by Martha Stewart somehow with like everything's in perfect place. There's like the LED lights, red and blue and like police or violet, whatever they got. Someday, that's my goal. In the meantime, this is my messy room that I've devoted to making these videos and it's all I have. Um, the NES system. And this is the power and the video output, and there's also, right here, um, there's the old RF, which you would think this is a video out, but in my day, the RF was a high-end connector to the RF signal of the older TVs, which this one has. So the RF connector for this television is right here. RF stands for radio frequency, and that's how you would get your channels for your television sets back in the day. And for the game, a lot of gaming systems, you'd have these little boxes where you could leave it in the TV mode and the antenna that would go into the TV would actually screw into there, the little wires. And then it gives you a little piggyback RF connector that would go into your television. And when it was in TV mode, your parents would watch all their stupid shows while you're waiting to play video games, it would piss you off. But when you finally got the TV to yourself, you could plug in your Nintendo and switch the box to game mode. Uh, this says computer, but on most of the gaming boxes, it just said game on the top. So you'd slide that and then you would get your Nintendo on either channel three or channel four of your television. You would tune into that and that would be your game. Now, luckily, Nintendo also has RCA and mono audio output on the side. Okay, it's not the cable. Now it's flashing, so that's interesting. Before it wasn't flashing. Did I cover those at all? And oh, wait! Whoa! Wait a second. This thing wants to work. It does. I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna replace all the capacitors. And whether it's the capacitors or not, it might as well have newer capacitors than the old ones, because they're gonna, I don't wanna give them a gift and then like a month later, it's like, hey, it doesn't work anymore. So I'm gonna put, and that's what, that's how Nick talks. He's like, hey, it doesn't, it doesn't work anymore. Hey, how's it going, Nick? Just kidding. So um, new capacitors, and I'm gonna look at the pins, and I'm gonna clean them, and I'm gonna bend them, and I'm gonna look at the lockout chip, and I'm gonna clean the board, and I'm gonna put it all back together. Wish me luck. Um, okay. Let's open it up. Best purchase I ever made. Uh, which you don't really need for Nintendo because Nintendo uses like two, one type of screw and then one other one or something like that. Which is just a Phillips head. I might even get away with the one that was right here 20 minutes ago. <laughs> it's a good screwdriver too. I mean, that's a good one. I'm gonna find it. I need that screwdriver. <sighs> Two screwdrivers. Let's start, well, this one's my favorite. I'm gonna start with my favorite. 
Uh-oh. That's not good. What's going on? All right, I lied. Let's not use that one. <laughs> Let's try this one. Ah. This is my new favorite screwdriver. I do not need to remind anybody that this is an entertainment only channel. Do not do anything I do. I have no experience. I have no training. I just want to try to fix stuff. Man, I wish I could have my music playing. Damn you, copyrights. It's so much more fun. I got a great playlist that I haven't changed in 15 years, and I'm not sick of it. It's got like Beethoven and uh, Lisa, what's her name? Lindy? Ty, uh, Ty, Tyler, Tyler Lindy? That was her name. The tall blonde who sings pretty good. Lisa, Lisa Linz. Oh. The one who complains about her boyfriend is all the time. Lisa, Linda. Tall, skinny, uh, pop star. Skinny popcorn? What? How much is Google worth? What are they like, bazillions? They're like bazillions of dollars. And you ask a simple question and they, oh, skinny popcorn? It's, well, it's reviews are one stars. It's aged white cheddar popcorn. That's not what I asked. Okay, pop <laughs> star Tyler Lisa. Put your, put your comments below if you know who I'm talking about. What the hell's her name? A singer who complains about her boyfriends. Taylor Swift. <laughs> Taylor, did I, was I even close? Lisa, where'd I get Lisa? I don't know. She looks like a Lisa, doesn't she? I don't remember what I was talking about. Anyway, uh, Taylor Swift, I'm totally joking. I'm just trying really bad humor on my, my channel. I know you're a big fan of mine. You're probably a big fan of mine. Um, no, I mean, I wish people would refer to me as that, that tall and skinny uh, blonde. I didn't mean anything by it. That's my official apology in case I have, you know, it's hashtag stop calling women blonde and skinny. I don't know, whatever. Okay, where was I? Um, six screws, this just comes right off. Not a whole lot of dirt. One little dead critter. I can, oh my God. I take back what I said. What is that? That's like the beginning of uh, that movie where they're trapped in an underwater uh, fortress and they drink the vodka and, and the, somebody put a, a experimental alien drug in the vodka and then they all start turning into the thing. <coughs> put your comments below if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, true story, I was gonna make a YouTube movie review video and I think you can guess why I decided not to do a YouTube, uh, I review movies. As much as I love movies, I do not pay attention to the name of the movie, <laughs> who directed it, you know, facts. So there's, there's that. Um, Leviathan, Jesus, with Peter Weller. Oh my God, okay, stay tuned. Stay tuned for my next uh, channel that's gonna open up. I'll put a link in the description for cra Craftaculous Movies and you and Skinny Popcorn. Sponsored by Skinny Popcorn. Okay, so this is really dirty. Oh, this, is, this has been open before. This is missing. And missing a screw. Well, what do you know? This person said, what did they say? I'm gonna pull it up now because I'm a little upset. Just a little upset, not a lot. Oh, is that what I paid? Oh my God, I paid a lot. Oh, great tested used condition. Great 
has accepts return within 30 days. All right. Yeah, this this is missing two screws at least. I, yeah, two or three screws. That's pretty clean. These, the, one of these, I think it's the silver one, is the only screw that's different than all the other screws. All these, all these screws that we're removing. I think the, I think the silver ones go like through a uh, couple layers of board stuff and hold everything together or something like that. Right, let's see. So it is the silver one. They even changed the colors. Wow, look at that nice overexposure. So yeah, yeah, you can see that, right? Of course not. Oh, just just trust me, one of these is long. The silver one's long. There we go. That's why I got this one. The one that takes six minutes to focus. Just like my shirt. Got the shirt at uh, Savers. You know, it's called Savers, but the, you know, it's not like you're saving a ton of money. This shirt was like thirteen dollars. Cause Goodwill, I can go to Goodwill. I get a shirt for three bucks, and you know, that's saying a lot for me. Thirteen dollars. Okay, so this is this is really easy to remove, but it's also really tricky because it's kind of. It's this, it's this base here. This goes into the base, comes up, and this base is like clipped. There we go. Comes forward and then up. And then it comes around from those pins. There you go. Oh, it's down there far. Oh my God, she's still around. You ever get an Instagram notification? So-and-so liked your post, like, we're still friends? She was one of those OnlyFans girls and uh, follow me on OnlyFans and put in your credit card. Like, I, what? You seem, you seem like such a pure girl. Actually, she didn't. These are the controllers, the power button and the reset button. This is controller one. Okay, don't break it. I don't remember this being so difficult. Okay. <clears throat> I like how sharp this metal is digging into my hand. It's good. Okay. Look at that. Now take your time, take your time. Come on, focus rings. Okay, so look at that, that's a... Uh... Okay, uh, just trust me, I got, it hurts. It's, it's there, there's indentations for metal. I'm not lying. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. So if you wanna get in here, which you want to get in here if you're going to remove the 20 plus year old capacitors that usually are the fault for a lot of problems on these Nintendos. And it doesn't hurt to give it new capacitors inside here. But to get in there, you have to remove these globs of solder that are on these four posts, plus these five pins that you see by my finger. It's really difficult to get the solder off. It takes forever to remove. So, uh, oh, let me look at the pins. So here's the, the, where the cartridge goes in. If you just kind of gently pry. Uh, there you go. Um, yeah, I mean, if there was a, phew. Would they use this to poop in? Oh. There's, I mean, I don't, 
necessarily think this would be a bad thing because the solder looks good, but oh, there's a lot of crap. Maybe I got duped, but I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take this off. Solder wick is the most painful thing ever. You basically heat this up, this copper up. That's amazing, I love the focus. You heat this copper wick up. I think some people even like spread it out a little bit, like make it frayed. They don't make it afraid, they make it frayed because this thing isn't afraid to soak up some solder. And uh, then you heat the top and on the bottom it sucks up all the solder, solder, solder. This channel sucks, you guys should watch something else. Uh, oh, excuse me. So I got this thing, but it's really only for pins. Like you can really get around, like the pin section is gonna be pretty, pretty easy like this, cause it just goes bup, 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 bup. I think I'm still gonna clean it though. Where's, where's my cleaner? Let me go get my cleaner. It's a little dispenser for IPA, isopropyl alcohol. Paper towel. That would have been fun. Oh, this isn't even big enough to go around the shaft. This is stinky. So you get your wick. And it should Heat up, you heat up the wick, and it should melt the solder underneath and have it just kind of supposed to go like sucking into the strands, which was a book, a romance novel back in the 80s. It was called Sucking Into the Strands. Didn't do too well though. Sucking Into the Strands is the new name of this channel. <laughs> no, really, just, uh, you know, don't do anything. So I had heard that if you've got stubborn solder, you put more solder on it sometimes. You know? And then it's easier to take all of it off. Cause that makes sense. Okay, so anyway, I wanted to show you what a pain in the ass this is. Beautiful. That's, that is, <laughs> that's, for all you novice solder workers out there, that's an A plus. Yep, that's how it's done. I broke it. I broke it. Damn it. Let's see how much I've destroyed. No, these capacitors have been replaced. These are new. So here's another view for getting this little square power and RF board and video audio out board off. Um, you can see the posts that go through the board. There's the four posts. They, they take up the most solder and, it t and I did use, end up using the wick. It took forever to get all that off. But the pins, you're actually supposed to leave them. I don't think you should mess with that side because honestly, on the other side of the board, when you, cause you can just peel the, that, that cover off of there, it's easier to get the pins from this side. Then that way, when you remove the board, they stay connected to the circuit board. And I think that's better because those solder pads can really get messed up over time. Cause I've, I've done a board once that I did it so many times I destroyed the solder pads. I think it's safer actually to get the four posts from the one side, but then get the pins on the other side of the board. That's probably the best way. Now the sad part is what I've been doing was trying to get the solder off, but also just prying and pulling and prying and pulling. And on the side that I did not originally take the solder off, it just cracked right on the corner of the board. And I just cracked through those traces. And now I'm worried that maybe I messed up the audio, the video, the power trace. I don't know what I messed up, but now I'm worried. That's what I should have done is just done the chip. So what I should have done from the start, which is probably what's wrong with the system, is look at the 3193 lockout chip. And that's Nintendo's proprietary chip that doesn't allow 
pirated games or other companies to put games in your system that they didn't authorize. And that chip uh, could go berserk over time, and then your the games that are supposed to work don't work. They'll just reset and keep going to black. So one solution is to get the fourth pin over from the bottom left and actually cut it with clippers, and that would solve most of your problems. It'll eliminate a lot of your cartridge not loading problems. So I probably should have just messed with that first instead of breaking the power board. But I'm going to clean these uh, pins. I'm going to snip the, the lockout chip so it's free. I'm going to isopropyl alcohol clean the board. Put it back together. Hope for the best. Hard to get in there. Did I get it? I think I did. But um, I just want to bend it so there's no chance of any kind of. There we go. Right there. Okay. Let's see if alcohol even does. Yes, alcohol, except it's got to get like right in there. I don't know if they need to be bent. I mean, to me, they look like they're in an upright position. They look like these last two have some sort of dirt on them. They seem clean. I don't know. And they look even. I don't want to mess. I don't want to mess with them. I'm just going to leave them. I mean... Feel solid. All right, let's put it back together. Clean the inside of these off camera because I feel so short. Hold on a second. So I clean the insides of these off camera. All the little creature destroyed civilizations that were living in there. I only put enough solder to just attach this back again, just in case I gotta open it up. So then this can go back. Put in the comments below how, how sorry you are for sitting <laughs> through this video. Comment below. I love when people say that. Comment below. You don't have to comment. You don't even have to watch this stupid thing. I'm just, I'm just bored. Oh. Unless you like watching somebody who keeps. How am I gonna? I'm just gonna put that there. Let's test it out. Put in the comments below if you think this is gonna explode or I'm gonna be shooting ducks with my trusty dog. You know what? I'm feeling lucky. Oh, and I even got the, the poop brown one. Yeah, you know when they say, oh, this has been tested for what? For fecal matter? I'm nervous. Wait a minute. Yes! I was worried that that trace had something to do with audio. Ho ho! I was about to do my happy dance. Maybe I pushed the button. <gasps> oh no. Oh, okay. Oh, it's select. <laughs> yeah, I play I, I play Nintendo all the time. 
One duck, two ducks, clay shooting. Oh, we're going for ducks. We're going for two ducks. Start. Go get him, Rufus. Okay, hold on a second. Gotta do this right. Ah, that's right. Okay, so here's what I think is weird. Tell me, tell me if I'm crazy. I mean, don't tell me if I'm crazy. I know, I know the answer to that. So, you go out hunting, right? Hunting dogs are, the reason they're, they're bred and selected is because they're like loyal. They're like, look, 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 I got you. Look at this dog, he's like, so happy. He's like, hey, we did it, we're like a team, right? Okay, now he's sniffing. There's my bud, round two. Now watch. Like, really? Is he... We're a team, you little mutt. You know, get the two and he's like, <laughs> like, fuck you. We got a, I mean, just a little, little Mario. Just a little old school here. I don't hope YouTube doesn't get mad that I've got the music. I don't know how YouTube works. They'll probably be like, it's a copyrighted song. And you know what? We don't need the Nintendo to do the music. I can do it. Boop, boop, boop. Shaboo, boo, boo, doo. Ba da, ba da, ba da, ba da, ba da. Na 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 na. Oh man, look at that! This, oh, this thing is great. Reset, it pops on. I destroyed part of the power board. It still works. Composite out works fine. The picture looks great. I'm gonna give them one of my light guns. Keep the other three. For backup. Yeah, and you know what? Just for fun, I'll do a video. You can get the, re we can see the reaction. Cause this is a nice gift. If you're my age, unfortunately, or a little younger, and you get this as a gift and it works and it's got new capacitors, it's been cleaned, the pins look good on the inside. That's a nice gift. Anyway, uh, let's go give the gift. Hey guys. Hey sweetie. Get sick him. How's it going? I got your gift. Oh shit. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. A red box? How'd you know I wanted that? So I'm uh, oh, filming for my YouTube channel. Thank you. I just wanted to show uh, my 10 viewers uh, you know, what's going on. And uh, introduce yourself. Who are you? Oh, who's that guy? <laughs> I didn't know you were coming over. <laughs> so I brought you guys a surprise. Uh, Elliot likes screen time. Oh, hey, Elliot. That was it, a couple of barks, and then he just kind of gave up on me. Let's see, you guys want to see what's inside? Yeah. Sure. What do you Not a big deal, but I spent like forever on this gift. I thought you were going to say four. Oh, shit. Oh. We need, we don't have a box that size. Oh shit. Hurry. The anticipation is killing me. No way! Oh shit. Blade steel? Ten? No way. That's right. Huh? You know what's funny is my app won't work anymore. So it, 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 the, the you, Tetris app doesn't work in the U.S. anymore. What? <laughs> I swear to God. I was like, you, you Patreon, Tetris. So I uh, I found a so broken... Is this actually for us or is this just for the video? 
Oh yeah, I'm taking it back. I, mean, I can't give you that. No, that's your gift. I, I got a broken, uh, I got yeah, a broken Nintendo and I took it apart. You fixed it? I fixed it, brand new, new capacitors. Well, did I put new capacitors? I don't think I put new capacitors, but I cleaned it out. It's super clean and it works. That's pretty good, dude. thanks man. And a light gun. Just try it, fuck it, and then, you know. Should the, <gasps> should the camera be more under, or the computer be more under him though? Um, so what if we just take the computer out and you're, the camera's the computer, no? Oh yeah, we can do that. Yeah, because I don't know if I like the computer. I don't, well, you're, you're right, it's taking the attention away. I don't want the attention right? taken away from, from me. I know, I, I, the attention should be on me. Do you show. understand? You know what I'm saying? So you can't... not working? Oh, there's no game. Is that... is the blinking bad? I hope not. I hope it's just blinking because there's no game in it. <laughs> Do I have to swap that? No. If you blow in it, you just put germs. You just put like saliva and shit in there and it grows into fungus. But that's alright. I cleaned the... I cleaned all the games. What's the name of this game called? Uh, this one is Snowstorm Simulator, I think. You know what's funny is, how did people used to play with the wires going over the TV like that? You know what I mean? Oh yeah, you had to put it to the side. You can't. You can't. No, because look, watch what happens when I put it to the side. It goes right back. No, I mean the Nintendo system. You put the whole system to the Ready? Yep. Let's see if this works. Is that you playing? I'm playing the music. I feel like one of you is better than the other. I'm just guessing. Here it goes. Oh, that's a nice Ah! Where's Luigi? Yeah, where is it? <laughs> yeah, now you're right. Can you do it again? Oh. Boom! Oh, shit. But you don't want to go to four, remember? Why don't you want to go to four? I don't know. So I, can't, I can't remember. Where I'm going to four. Mario. Oh, shit. We can play online. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Star, 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 Star Fox Mingle Leader here. You get 5,000, I'll give you 5,000. I'll give you 5,000 pennies. That's still a lot. That's still like 50 <laughs> bucks, right? Oh, shit. <laughs> Where do I go? Goodbye. Yes! Damn, dude. You suck. You're still on the <laughs> Look how slow he is. Well, I don't want to get hit by press. You don't press. You gotta press B. You don't got you it. Press B the whole time. No, that's what you do. Oh, that's right. You remember that? Yeah. All right. I can play without looking. See? Now you're looking at the screen. Oh! Look, now you're looking. Oh, what if, am I at the flag yet? Someone tell me. Oh! Oh, I did it! Oh, 